So that's what you want to start to see in the weaning. Threw some hay in there and they just start devouring it. So that's what you want to see. Um, so we're getting really close. So they're actually going to be down to one bottle, their nightly bottle. During the day, I'm expecting them to eat starter and hay and drink their water. He's still on the bottle twice a day. So today is auction day, but I'll be right back. All right, so today is auction day. My heifer there is doing really well. Um, like I said, I don't really have a set agenda. Um, I don't really need any particular bottle calves, but I see some really good deals. There's some older calves. I would like uh, some more starter calves. I guess I missed some really good ones at the, uh, the dairy sale, like 300 to 350 pounds on for, I don't know, like 25 cents a pound or something like that, which is crazy. So hopefully I can find some that people forgot to bring the dairy sale or maybe I can scoop up some good deals. I'd rather have some starter calves. I want to have a couple more running around out here. Um, but we'll see. Um, time will tell. We never know when we go to the auction. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Just staring at me. Uh, so I got everybody fed. I'm gonna go hang out with the kids and the wife for a little bit, and then I'll be going to the auction. And of course, I can't record there. But I mean, probably I could uh, probably record something. So we'll see if I can kind of bend the rules a little bit. So see y'all here in a second. Well, I wasn't exactly uh, prepared as I thought I'd be, so we're gonna let it ride shotgun on the way uh, on the way home right now. This truck's pretty loud. I don't know if you can hear me, but I had to put the calf in the cab. So my other truck, I didn't realize, is almost out of gas, and I was running behind, and I wasn't able to go and grab the trailer. So I figured I'd bid. They'd pen them, then I go get my trailer, then I only end up buying the one. So. Uh, we're gonna hope it doesn't make too much of a mess. We're about 15 minutes from the house. Shouldn't be too bad. We've all done it. I've done it a bunch. I just hope she doesn't have the squirts all of a sudden right here on my seat, but nothing a hose can't fix. So I'll see you when we get to the house. Oh yeah, she's good, like a dog. Like a big dog. Yeah, don't you poop in here. Don't you poop. Oh shit. Easy now, big mama. This is the great idea. You're all right. You're all right, stay over there. Oh, great ideas. So, a typical farm and truck type of deal. So the fuel gauge doesn't work in there. <laughs> and I ran out. So I'm walking with a calf in my front seat. Oh, just one of those things. <laughs> it's what I get for trying to save time and do things the, I guess, easier way instead of the correct way. So now, it's gonna get messy. So I'm gonna get to this gas station here and then, uh, yep. Can't see it great, but not any pee or poo. Survived. I mean, it kind of sucked. It's very unpleasant. She kept trying to sit in my lap and lick me. But uh, no poop, so that's a win. Hope you all enjoyed that, because I did not. But this is the new heifer here. Like I said, she's full of energy trust me so i got her separated from everybody else everybody else over here she's got her pen over here i bedded it down of course she's not laying in it so i'll have to go in there and adjust her but all in all not a bad not a bad little animal so the main reason that i even picked her up is because she is from the same farm as him and he's been a great calf but since they are from the same one, I can only assume that she has that uh, cockad. I can't ever say it. Cosiditis, cockaditis, co cosidius. I don't know. So her first bottle, she'll get treated and she'll be just fine. But like I said, full of energy. Um, a lot. Like even getting her in here, she's kind of sprinting all around. Uh, I'm going to get her onto the bedding and I'll probably put some more bedding in here. But uh, 
yeah, all in all, not bad. I'll see you uh, when it comes to feeding time. We'll see how she takes a bottle and all that fun stuff. So I just got done plowing. Uh, been at it since about four in the morning. It is about two thirty in the afternoon. Um, they got their last night feeding, but they missed their other feeding. Well, they didn't miss it. It's a little bit later than I normally do. I do. I normally time it between my kids' naps, so not horrible. Um, but it did get cold and blowing. So when we get back, let's see how everybody's doing. This is kind of thing that sucks about. You know, when you do this kind of thing and it's not all you do and you got other responsibilities that, that pull you away. Um, but they should be fine. It's only about an hour past what they normally feed. So we'll get there and then uh, we'll, I'll get you an update on everybody and then I will get this video out. So I'll see you here in a bit. All right. Everyone's doing a okay. She's actually even a little bouncy. She's even a little bouncy today. She's doing really good. So, bottle, bottle, my big boy, and they're going to just be eating their starter and some hay. Got to check on him. You guys, last night bottle, he drank some too fast. I put it in the bucket and he kicked it over, so I gave him a bottle, and then now he's like usual. Whenever he gets a bottle, he gets kind of like that. She's doing great. Chickens are doing good. We got a pretty good amount of powder, sweetheart. Sweetheart, chickens are high. I threw some feed in there to pick the poop around. What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Threw them some hay. They do so well out here. This is a lifesaver for them, but they, these are hardy pigs. I'm not, these are only pigs ever owned. Um, these American guinea hogs are there, just great. They, they're just hardy. I don't know what they're trying to do, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get you some food. Here. Hold on, I already eat some hay. I'll get you something else. Yeah, we got a decent amount, pretty decent amount of powder. All right, let me get these bottles made. Get everyone sorted here, and I'll be right back. All right, so what we like to see eating like a champion. Oh, of course, get the camera out. Now we're struggling, but she eats good. She's feisty. Got a lot of jam in her. It's good, really good. I don't see any poop in here to look at. Chickens might have ate it, but I don't see anything that's a concern. So we'll keep an eye on that. But she's pretty. She's got like a dark brown with the spots. She's about 75 pounds, not a bad size heifer at all. Um, got a couple people in mind for her, so we'll let her eat this up here. So we'll just keep popping it on her. Make sure her tail stay nice and dry like that. So let's get her fed and on your both hands. Still my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Still my favorite. Super friendly. I think I'm just going to keep her. I don't think she's going to leave. We'll just, I don't know what the plan will be. Not much sense having one half her, but maybe we'll, I've never done the AI thing. Maybe we'll, I don't know. I'm not in a hurry. She's really, she's easy going. Here he's going. A big fan. Big fan. This calf. All right. So I got everybody fed. He's good. They're good. They're licking the wall. Oh, uh, he's eating hay actually. He just looks like he's licking the wall. She's doing good. Everything's good. We're just kind of on a slow. I keep saying that, but I just don't want everyone to think this is all it's going to be forever. It's not. As soon as you get a break in the weather, um, all the uh, the Amish calves, everything, everyone wants me to buy right now. But 
I, I don't want to do what I did last time. So I am against my impulses right now. I don't want to just go buy 30 caps. I mean, I want to buy 30 caps, but the market's in right now here, and I saw a place to keep them. But as soon as that springtime rolls around, for sure. Got to do something with these chickens, all right? They're eating the barn. They're driving me nuts. It's mainly just their poop on everything. Like, they're doing a good job, like, keeping this clean in here. Like, throw their feed in there, and they keep that clean in there, which is great. But everything else they do sucks. So, yeah, eggs are great. But they're just unwanted guests sometimes. Me and this dude had it out for a minute. He was getting a little bit, I don't want to say cocky, because that sounds kind of... The nuts, you know, but he was definitely being a, being a, I don't know, a dick. So, <laughs> um, but I don't know. I got to do something with these chickens. I got like a little teeny um, coop, but that's not enough for, you know, there's nine of them. A couple of roosters, seven hens. Um, I got to do some, probably something outside here. I don't know. Got to do something. I know I had a lot more to talk about, a lot more to do, but I'm tired. Well, like I said, I've been plowing all night. I just want to give an update on her. She's good. Everyone's good. I'm good. I will see you on the next one. Um, there's an auction tonight. In 20 minutes. I'm not going to make it. I probably shouldn't be driving anyway. I'm tired. Um, but I have a buddy who's going to be buying for me too. So we'll be at least... It won't be ones and twosies. I'll probably start bringing in 10. Um, I got Hutch's put back here like I've said. Once I get him, he's about sorted. He'll move in somewhere. I don't really know. Figure it out. Um, so we'll be able to take more. Um, yes, that's going to do it. I'll see you on the next one.